forget strawberry fields forever, though we are near strawberry, we're in pine. But what you see behind me, lavender fields forever, and you can smell it, it's gorgeous, it's aromatic, and obviously lavender is your obsession. You know, I have to say, it has become that. I absolutely love it. There are so many things you can do with lavender. Of course, everybody knows soaps and maybe bath balm or two, but gosh, lavender is just amazing. I mean, there are so many recent true medical research pieces on how lavender affects the brain for relaxation, for sleep. But did you know lavender is great for your hair? The University of Maryland Medical Center says it's the number one topical treatment for hair. Wait and a second. And then, of course, culinary. Really? Culinary? Yes. Okay, so first of all, hair, skin. Yes, hair, skin. Burns. Burns? I didn't know that. Yes. You think of aloe. Yes. But lavender, and in terms of cooking, I didn't think of that because I just thought of what you said, like, aromatherapy. I sure. didn't know it was used in cooking, but you've got a cookbook coming out, and of course you teach cooking classes right here on your farm. We do, we do. In fact, we're the only Bob's Red Mill sponsored lavender cooking and baking school, I think, in the whole world. <laughs> That's pretty fancy, and I'm very, color me impressed right now, or color me lavender, either way. Um, this is a very popular destination here in Pine. You can visit, and we're gonna check out the gift store in a minute. But tell me how this looks in June, because I think you have 6,000 lavender plants? Right, right. So by the time about mid-June, third week of June come, you won't be able to see a speck of dirt here. I mean, these lavender plants, they are so amazing. They'll go, they're just starting to spike right now, but all of a sudden these long stems are gonna come up and you're gonna be about right there on you in a field of blooming lavender. Lavender fields forever, like I said. Why lavender? I mean, for those, you know, this, this is like a Hallmark movie, okay? W this queen of lavender was previously a very high-powered attorney, a political attorney, who's become the queen of lavender out here. <laughs> Thank you. Right? It's a very different life. It, it is such a different life, but you know, I think it's one that I dreamed of since I was a little girl. I just wanted to have an old farm. I just wanted to grow something, and this is just... We love it here. We and absolutely love before it. Before we go inside, because the store is amazing and I can't wait for you guys to see it, this surprised me. So, one reason that you want to grow lavender here in Pine is because the elk don't eat it. That's right. So, we bought this old farmstead, and this place is from about the late 1870s to about the mid 18, uh, early 1890s. And what we did when we bought this farm, we had a little cabin up here like so many people do. And I kept seeing this old broken down farm. It had been abandoned for 47 years. Wow. As the estate wow. tried to work out, you know, what they were gonna yeah. do with the property. And it's such an amazing old property, a land grant from President Taft, if that tells you how old it is. Oh my gosh. And we love history and we wanted to preserve it. So we were able to purchase it and we started through the process of rehabbing the old house and the old structures. We have nine historic structures here. In fact, we're the only farmstead uh, listed on the National Register of Historic Places in the state of Arizona. That's in hands where you can actually come and visit it. That's not in a state park. And so we were spending money like water. <laughs> and I, sitting out by the, we have a great running creek in the back, and I said, you know, Rick, we've got land, we've got old historic water rights, we should grow something to help some income. And he goes, yeah, but what about the elk? Uh-huh. So I raced in, good old Google. Google, what, what, <laughs> Google machine, what do elks not eat? Answer. Exactly. Lavender. Okay, we're gonna, can we take a look in the gift store? I would love to show it to okay, you. Okay, speaking of, you know, spending money like it's going out of style, I saw like 10 things <laughs> I want. <laughs> Listen, Piper is not for sale. At yes, any price. Yes, he's at any price, but he is one of my favorite things in this <laughs> gift store, which is so adorable and cute. You mentioned this sci new science about lavender for hair, and you even saw a little hair oil. This is probably, this is gonna be the thing that I'm gonna want. And then, of course, this muscle 
rub for your sore muscles. One of our most popular products. This yeah. is popular. If I wish you guys could smell it in here. It's amazing. But speaking of aromatic, I want to talk about your book because people are often surprised that you can cook with lavender. And one of your most popular recipes is a lavender chocolate cake. Right, right. And I don't know whether that's because I promote it because it's what I love the most. Yeah. <laughs> but it's... This is in our cooking school, in all of our things that we do. Everybody wants recipe. And tell me about this. Recipe. All right, so this is our lavender cocoa. And it's made with just really three ingredients, lavender and sugar and, and cocoa, but we hyper blend it. So it makes a real powdery uh, drink mix. It's great as, of course, a cocoa. Great in a scoop of it in coffee, sifted on cookies, but this is the secret to okay. that frosting. So you need, and by the way, the Lavender Companion is the book. It is available, so you can order it wherever books are sold. Amazon. Amazon. Any, if any you'd place. like to try cooking at home, you can try. There's a lot of great recipes. And I hadn't thought, speaking of cocoa, I noticed you have a margarita mix, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Another one of those very popular items. And if you like mixology, a lavender margarita on a hot summer day you can be done if people want to check out pine creek lavender farm i know you know the hours change depending on the season the time uh should people just check online yeah so you can follow me on instagram or facebook at pine lavender farm but generally you can count on friday saturday sunday and monday from 10 until 5 all year round except the month of january and then in the summer seasonally we are open additional couple of days a week